Happy Easter, everyone. Let's talk about the classic Here Comes Peter Cottontail, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary today. Bad days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Dual, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 1971 stop motion anime Easter special, Here Comes Peter Cottontail, produced by Rankin Bass, and based on the 1957 novel The Easter Bunny That Overslept by Priscilla and Al Friedrich. The special also features the popular song of the same name, written by Steve Nelson and Jack Rollins. <coughs> anyway, the special originally premiered on ABC 50 years ago this day on April 4th in 71. Of course, in later years, CBS, Fox Family before ABC Family and Freeform, as well as the CW and Cartoon Network have aired. I've caught it a few times, but not a whole lot, like I usually do with the Christmas specials that the studio had actually done. But anyway... Now, of course, we focus on a young Easter bunny named Peter Cottontail, who is voiced by Casey Kasem, of course. You know who that is. The original voice of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, and of course... Um, the host, the original host of American Top 40. <clears throat> he lives in April Valley, where all the other Easter bunnies live and work. Making Easter candy, sewing Easter bonnets, and decorating and delivering Easter eggs. The former chief Easter bunny, Colonel Wellington B. Bunny, names Peter his successful his successor, despite his boasting and lying, because whenever he tells a lie, his left ear kind of droops. <laughs> I just laugh. At least I think it says his left. Like, <clears throat> but anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Peter's dreamed about this job for a whole time, and he accepts. Unfortunately, he has a bit of a competitor with a cruel rabbit named Iron Tail. January Q Iron Tail. He, the only reason why he wants to become Chief Easter Bunny so he can ruin Easter for children as revenge after a child roller skated over his tail, forcing him to wear an, an artificial tail made of iron. So he demands that Colonel Bunny hold a contest between him and Peter to see who can deliver the most eggs according to the Constitution of April Valley. Well, Peter accepts the challenge, but unfortunately Iron Tail messes everything up by, <clears throat> by causing his rooster on the um, his alarm clock to not wake him up and he slept through the whole day. So now... <clears throat> oh dear... Forcing Iron Tail to become the new Easter Bunny. But soon, Peter meets Seymour Sassafras, that's our narrator. A, an eccentric peddler and inventor who supplies April Valley with the colors to paint the eggs with from his Garden of Surprises. So he lets Peter use his Yes Tomorrow Bill. A time machine piloted by Antoine, a caterpillar. But anyway, that's all I will tell you. But I gotta tell you, once they get going, the fun really begins. Uh, they go. They have to go through all sorts of various holidays and what have you. They even they meet several characters. Most of them, mostly Santa, Santa is one of them, as a matter of fact. And Pierre even meets some. Um, Donna, when they run to Valentine's Day, but they managed to get back, well, get the Easter eggs done even before Easter to be our Lion Tail. But that I'm going to not spoil that, okay? Because I'm not going to spoil the ending in my view, just in case. So, so forgive me. But anyway, I really liked this special. I just finished watching it. The full special is on YouTube, even though it's also on home media. 
It has been released numerous times by Family Home Entertainment, as well as Sony Wonder. And it's been released on um, DVD numerous times, twice by Sony Wonder, once by Genius Products, who buy out Classic Media, who of course owns most of the, well, half of the Rankin Base library, which is now with DreamWorks and Universal. Because DreamWorks released a special edition in 2014, which included the sequel, uh, Here Comes Peter Contail the Movie, which came out in 2005. Uh, and it was computer anime. I've only seen a tiny bit of it, but I don't think it's. I don't think it looks that good. I prefer the original, though. It also did get released on Blu-ray a couple of years ago as a Walmart exclusive, but unfortunately, it contains a heavily edited version of this rather than presenting the film in its entirety. This one cuts many scenes, adds some songs, and leaves out others out entirely while also fading to black in other areas before resuming. And the edited Blu-ray version runs nearly 10 minutes shorter than the actual original, which runs about 50 to 51 minutes. <sighs> yeah, the same release was extended beyond Walmart to all media retailers the following year last year, but it contains the same thing, so you might want to be careful. With that, but anyway, I really loved Here Comes Pierre Contail. It's a really good special, and this would actually be the very first, um, <clears throat> um, um, excuse me, Easter special that Rankin Base would do. They would also later on do the, um, the story of the first Easter rabbit, I think that was called in 76, which was narrated by Burl Ives, of course, you know, the narrator of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. And the following years, the Easter, the, um, the Easter Bunny is coming to town, uh, which was narrated by Fred Astaire, who recently did Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which actually came out a year before this. Well, actually, just a few months, as a matter of fact. But nevertheless, it has a pretty good cast and what have you. Casey Case, as I mentioned, voices the title character of Pierre Contel. Seymour Sassafras is voiced by Danny Kay, who also does Colonel Wellington B. Bunny and Antoine. We have Joan Gardner, Paul Fries, Iris Rainer, Greg Thomas, and Jeff Thomas. And as Iron Tail is a guy who certainly is no stranger to being all, well, playing a scary type of character or a meanie, Vincent Price. So anyway, I liked it. The story's really good, and I do like the songs as well. That was really good. Yeah, it was really good. So anyway, this just had so much fun. Also, it has some very good songs, like The Easter Bunny Never Sleeps. Where it has two versions, like it's a difficult, just like it's a difficult responsibility from Santa Claus has come to town. A nice version and a diabolical version. But anyway, with great characters, a great story, and gr well, great and magic, like Rankin Mason for Rudolph and Santa Claus has come to town. Would I recommend Here Comes Peter Contell? Yes, I would. It's a very good movie. Even though it, well, it's sort of a movie, but a special, though. But anyway, this would be a pretty good special. I think you'll really like it, and I think you ought to get your kids to watch it. I mean, now, if you don't have it on physical media, you could still probably get a DVD for a reasonable price, I do believe. But if you can, just look it up on YouTube. The full special is on YouTube. So what are your thoughts on Here Comes Pierre Cottontail? Please tell me in the comments section below. If you like this video, click the like button below, subscribe to my channel as well, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a review of another fun-filled story for Easter, Hop. Thanks for watching, and if you like this, you may want to check out some of these other fun-filled adventures and what have you. In the upper left hand corner is my review of one of the most underrated anime movies
There ever was, in my opinion. Journey back to Oz from 72. The upper right-hand corner is my recent review of Brave Star, the movie, which I did last month. Or go to the bottom left-hand corner for my recent review of the 1979 flick Chomps, which stands for Canine Home Protection System. And the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.